And uh, there, is, there has been an experiment which I think reflects pretty well the characteristic of the profession. And I'd like to tell you about this experiment because uh, it allows you also to, to uh, situate yourself you know, with respect to epidemiology. This, this experiment was the following. It was uh, you know, a researcher thought, you know, how can we define epidemiology? Well, epidemiology is what epidemiologists do. So imagine the following experiment. He took a, a room with a surgical table and he put a can of sardine on the table. And he asked a neurosurgeon, a pathologist, and an epidemiologist to come. And the experiment was very simple. They had to go into the room, do whatever they wanted, but they had to come out with a report. So the neurosurgeon went first, stayed two minutes, came out, he had written can of sardine on his paper, and the, the box of sardine was very nicely opened. There was not a drop of oil on the table. And he didn't care about looking at the sardines themselves. Then goes the pathologist. Stays half an hour. Comes out. He's full of oil everywhere. <laughs> the can is roughly open, you know, very strangely. There are bits of sardine all over the table and oil. And he has a two-page report. This is, well, this was a metal can, and I opened it according to the procedure of so-and-so. There were six sardines. I opened them all. There was nothing pathological. And I think it was, uh, you know, safflower oil or something like that, sunflower. So he gives his report. Then goes the epidemiologist. The epidemiologist stays eight hours. So the, the guy I saw was starting to get worried. After eight hours, the epidemiologist opened the door. He looked exhausted. So immediately the guy looks at the table and sees the can of sardine untouched. <laughs> but the epidemiologist had a 20-page report <laughs> on how to estimate the number of sardine in the box without opening it. 